Hey there Facebook, it is Vanessa here again, your speaker, trainer and coach from Live Love Give and today I'm bringing you a message which has been one that I have learnt so many different times and I just felt like it would be a really, really great reminder for us all, which is all around, you know, not letting your infatuation lead you toward resentment. And I want to really unpack this one. And of course, it comes from one of my absolute favorite human beings in on the face of the planet, which is Dr. John D. Martini, who talks about how, you know, we can put people on a pedestal, we can put people in a pit, you know, and when we're not in that equilibrium where we can see both sides, when we can see the whole, um, we can end up on one, one of two sides where we're completely infatuated with somebody and all we can see is all that's amazing and the best and all the quote unquote like positive side of who they are. And on the flip side, we put somebody in a pit and we it leads us to resentment, um, you know, when we just see all the negatives and no positives. So what we ultimately want to do in all of our relationships is give people breathing room to be all of who they are and fall in love with all of who they are, not just see one-sidedness. Um, and really what I wanted this message to kind of gauge toward is a pattern that I am forever focusing on in my life now um, because like I guess I've had the experience too many times where I have definitely entered states of infatuation with people who have come into my life and then I've kind of gotten to a place of resentment. And so when we allow ourselves to fully go into that infatuation where we see all the best of this amazing individual who's come into our lives and we see no drawbacks, whatever. It's just constant benefits. It's just all good. This person must have dropped out of heaven. You know, they're so amazing. We're actually setting ourselves up for failure in the long term. And I'll tell you why. Because when we put somebody on that pedestal and we see all the greatness and we see all the goodness and we're in totally infatuated with them, we end up immersing ourselves with that person to the point that we lose our individuality. And this is where we create codependence. This is where we forget about our needs. This is where we forget about needing any time to ourselves and going on our own individual journey. And all we want is to have everything connected to that individual who we see just like this total infatuation around. But what happens is when we're trapped in that fantasy, which is definitely going to happen, particularly in the beginning of any relationship. Um, so we don't want to leave that behind. It feels amazing. Like it feels so good to be infatuated with somebody. It feels like, oh, you just can't get enough of them, right? Um, but what happens is if we don't do our due diligence and we don't actually go, hang on, let me just take a step back here. Let me realize the path that I'm going on. Let me try and balance this equation out a little bit more and we get more future focused rather than being, you know, in that attachment and that infatuation in the present moment, which sometimes we need the experience to see where that's going to go. Um, but hopefully you've at least had that experience once or twice in your life right now, or today's message is going to help you alert you to that pattern um, that, so that you don't go down this path. But if we stay stuck on that path of infatuation, at some stage down the track, you know, and a lot of people like to refer to this as the honeymoon period, right? Some stage down the track, we start to notice, oh, like that person actually has a little bit of a negative going on. Oh, and then there's another negative and there's another negative. Um, and then we start to kind of balance the equation out. But if we've gone in so far that we've completely sold ourselves out, you know, and we haven't been true to who we are and we haven't been staying in alignment with who we are and what's healthy for us and having that time to ourselves and doing our own individual things and maintaining some state of individuality along that journey, we end up getting to a place where we just resent that person because we've lost who we are and now we're starting to see that they actually have some of those negative qualities balancing out all of those positive ones. So the name of the game in long-term relationship and connection that you really want to go the distance is to humble yourself when you get infatuated and to also humble yourself when you get into the resentment. So 
what um, Dr. John D. Martini would say is that nobody deserves to be put on a pedestal and nobody deserves to be put in a pit, but everybody deserves to be put in your heart. And the heart is that place of that love and that gratitude and that equilibrium where we can see for every amazing positive, there is an equal negative. You know, there's not just benefits, there's also drawbacks and they're always in balance. It's not lopsided and it's in that lopsidedness that we end up diminishing and, and terrorizing our relationships and the connections and the depth and the evolution and all the great stuff that we could be stepping more into and that ultimately we want to be stepping more into. Um, but this is how you do it. <clears throat> Notice the patterns. Get yourself out of infatuation by identifying what are those things that I'm just like infatuating about, right? And then list them all out and then ask yourself, well, what is the drawback to me with this person having this positive trait that I'm infatuated about? What is the drawback for me? What is the drawback for them? Until you can find the balance, until you can see exactly that, you know, there's no more negatives and there's no more positives. It's all in equilibrium. It's all in balance. And in that place, you prevent yourself going down the timeline that's leading you towards a resent-filled life, where you feel like you've just lost your identity, where you feel like, you fell in love with this person who is not at all who you fell in love with or whatever it is. And um, you also give that other human being the greatest gift of all, which is the opportunity and the possibility to be unconditionally loved for the truth of all of who they are, not just the great side. And I can definitely speak from experience, you know, in terms of Many times in relationships, um, you know, having my partner or the person that I'm connected with um, put me on a bit of a pedestal, which feels pretty good, right? Like when somebody puts you on a pedestal and they're seeing all the great stuff in you, it makes you feel amazing. But what we don't see, and this is the drawback of being put on a pedestal, is that it gives you no room for fault, you know? It gives you no room to express all of who you are. It puts you in this kind of box and category that feels very conditional, like that person is only going to love you if you maintain their infatuation. And if you show up as a human being at some point, you know, you might lose their love, you might lose their connection. So it keeps you in this kind of box of fearing being totally transparent and authentic. So you're not doing anybody a favor by putting them on a pedestal, certainly not in a pit, and you're certainly not doing yourself or them a favor by putting them on a pedestal or a pit or whatever. You always want to be balancing yourself out when you're stuck in some resentment and you're seeing all negatives. Look at, list what those resentments are and balance them out. What's actually the drawback of this particular trait that you're currently resenting? What is this circumstance? actually teaching you and how's it adding value to you for them showing up exactly in that way. And until you can get to the point of loving what is, you're never really going to have a truly loving relationship. You're going to be trapped in some form of fantasy and it's not doing you or them any favors. And I really hope that this message does resonate with you, does support you, and I really hope that it gets you moving in the direction of a truly extraordinary quality of relationship with anybody you so choose. And you'll notice the infatuation, don't get trapped in it, don't get stuck in the fantasy thinking it's so, so good. And instead, balance that out for the longevity of your relationship and your connection and the truth of it, really, because you're never going to have that authentic connection until you can love both sides and ultimately love what is. All right. That is my message for you guys. I'm hoping that it's resonating. If you want more in-depth trainings and dive into the work that I really love doing in all of my classes and teachings, I really invite you to join the Limitless Potential monthly masterclasses. The link is up above. You get instant access to all of the previous masterclasses when you register and join. And, uh, and we'll have our next masterclass coming up in a couple of more weeks time. So I can't wait to deliver that for you guys. And I want to check in with you guys. So say hi, let me know where in the world you are tuning in from. Any words of wisdom, any questions you have, definitely drop them down below. I can't wait to connect with you. So 
I've got Randy in the house and Vanessa, awesome, and Gregory and Frank, hello to you, and Philip, and uh, Vanessa, familiar familiarity, oh my gosh, I've had no sleep all weekend, breeds contempt. Absolutely, that is so, so true, and um, a really great point in relationship dynamics. You know, you've got to mix it up and get curious and learn more. I like to fascinate over people in my life. You know, never assume that you know everything about them and you're so familiar with all of who they are. You know them better than they, they know themselves or something, which is a trap that we can sometimes get um, stuck in, but it absolutely breeds contempt. Like you start getting irritated by them. Um, that is not a healthy path to go on. So absolutely, Vanessa. And uh, Biom, Biom Agabi. Hello to you, my friend, and um, I'm loving that you're finding some truth here. And Vanessa, this has happened to me in my current relationship. Oh, I love that you've identified that, Vanessa. So, you know, when we have that baseline foundation of self-awareness and we can see the pattern playing out, we can know what we really want to get to is if you're, you know, if what you're noticing is that infatuation piece from either side, you know, identify and list out all those things that you're totally infatuated with in your partner and then list out the balance of it what is it actually costing you that um, you know that they have that trait that you're infatuated with until you can balance it out into equilibrium and the same thing if you're trapped in resentment and you're just like oh my god like I can't stand them you know identify all those things that you're resentful about and then balance them out and see how it's actually supporting you and adding value to your life you know and when you can really get to that middle ground that is when you're going to be in a loving relationship filled with gratitude for loving what is and the beautiful human being that is standing before you and uh, and not put them in some sort of box or category where you're just seeing some lopsided perception um, instead of the entirety of who they are and what you can go the depths of. I love that Vanessa, you're a superstar. And uh, Dario, very on the ball with my place in my life. I love hearing that this is resonating with you, Dario. Thanks so much for being here. And hello to you, Syed. And Ram's in the house. Hello, Ram. And Terry's here. Awesome. And uh, Syed, hi, dear friend. Good morning. Glad to see you and listen to your impressive talk. I'm so grateful to have you, Syed. Thank you so much, my friend. I'm loving that you're finding this impressive. And uh, Terry's here from... Um, for, from sunny Spain as usual. I absolutely love having you here, Terry. And uh, Adrian, Sia, and Vanessa. Um, being put on a pedestal adds a lot of pressure um, on, on the person. They feel they have to be perfect all the time. Vanessa, absolutely. You know, and that's kind of what I was talking into, you know. Um, and as you guys have kind of been following my journey a little bit, you know that uh, particularly over the last year, I've been talking into, you know, finding freedom in love. And to me, you know, love equals freedom. And if you don't have freedom, it's not actually love, you know, and part of having freedom in relationship is not being put on a pedestal. You know, it is being... It's, it's creating this whole room, you know, for you to be the full spectrum of who, who you are as an individual, you know, so you're not doing anybody any favors by putting them on that pedestal. You're actually just limiting the expression of who they really are. And if you're not getting the full expression of who they really are, you're not actually falling in love with a person. You're falling in love with a fantasy and a limited perception of, um, of a small section of a person. And that's not freeing and that's not loving. So I love that, Vanessa. Thank you so much for sharing. And uh, Chico's here and Bina, loving that this is superb. And uh, Stevie's here and Vanessa, you're so welcome, beautiful soul. And uh, Rawiti, um, hi, Vanessa, love you. Ah, oh, love it. Much love to you, Rawiti. Always love having you here. And I'm really hoping that today's message has definitely served all of you guys and it's going to take you out of those two traps that hold us back from the depths of connection in all of our relationship, which relationships, which is uh, putting somebody on a pedestal, seeing all good, no bad, and also putting somebody in a pit and resenting them because you're seeing only bad and no good. Bring yourself back into equilibrium. That is where love is. That is where gratitude is. That is where you love the whole and you love what is. And there's no greater freedom than giving the gift to somebody to love the full spectrum of all of who they are without the pedestal, without the pit, and only in your heart. All right.
That is absolutely all I wanted to share with you guys today. Hope it's been of value. And as always, I'm sending you guys all of my love, light, blessings, gratitude, energy, enthusiasm, everything extraordinary coming to you to wherever you are in the world today. I really do hope it's beautiful, amazing, and extraordinary. And I really hope today's message has served you. And if you know somebody in your life who maybe is putting you in a pedest on a pedestal or in the pit, maybe share this video with them. Maybe it might just resonate them in an indirect way and you guys could utilize this knowledge and this kind of perspective on things to actually just go and do the work individually so that you can co-create something extraordinary together. All right, and so much love for you, Rawiti. Thank you so much. And Yon, spot on Vanessa, freedom should be within a relationship, not when one ends, all the best. I love that, Yon, you are so on point. Love that this resonated. I'm sending you guys all of my love and I cannot wait to see you tomorrow.